All right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of BGL's Garage. On today's episode, we're gonna do a quick comparison from Super Clean to the Power Purple, or AKA the Purple Power. Now, this is a uh, Purple Power is what we use a ton of here at BGL's Garage for cleaning parts. I love it. It's very good. Super Clean sent me a box of their product, so I'm gonna give them a try, and we're gonna do a quick comparison test. So let's get to work because this is Pichal's Garage. So for our comparison test to be fair and pretty much unbiased, we're going to show you guys again, we have full concentrate purple power and their uh, full concentrate super clean. They're actually very, very similar price products. So this is actually a very cool and very um, interesting comparison of degreasers in general. So what we have here in the video is two oil pans both of them used and both of them abused and then two control arms the control arms were actually clean so what i ended up doing is smearing both of them with automotive grease in the same exact spots and then on the left on the top left we put a little bit of uh, engine oil on them to see how well the super clean actually removes grease and oil now the oil pans here both are grimy this one's a little bit cleaner than the other one but if super clean does the job and does a really good job of cleaning this pan up i'll be very 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 impressed uh purple power we know how well they clean products but the way that we're going to compare them is based off of their time now and how quickly they can clean in a very short amount of time so what we're going to do is we're going to spray both of them and give them about 30 to 40 seconds of sitting and then see and power wash the crud out of them and see the end results of the product. So let's get started. So I'm going to make sure both guns are ready to, sh to shoot. All right, we're going to grab both of them at the same time and we're going to hose them both down with their own product and then we're going to do 30 seconds and then uh, 30 to 40 seconds and then we're going to hose them down. Now I'm going to soak them pretty heavily, both of them, because I like to soak a lot of this stuff pretty heavily. And then we're going to do the same thing in the pans. <laughs> I got one squirt in there, but it should be okay. Now we're going to let it sit for 30 seconds or 40 seconds, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're back now. Uh, so we let it soak for about 30, 40 seconds. I'm going to move some stuff around. We're going to power wash this oh, and see the end result. Remember, super clean on the right, purple power on the left. Let's see the end results. Let's hose these guys down. All right, turn your volume down. It's going to get loud. No, or I can put them next to each other like this. I did earlier. Super clean. There you go. There you go. <laughs>
I don't know, man. I don't know, but remember, we let this stuff sit for 30 seconds. And this is a super clean pen. And this is the purple power pen. And this one was worse than this one substantially. Uh, and I'm pretty impressed. Uh, so you guys can see this. First, we're gonna go look at the control arms. Now, one thing that I did notice the Purple Power do, the, um, the actual uh, grease that we applied on it didn't come off. It, it stripped off versus actually dissolving. And you can see that over here, uh, there's a brim, purple brim, you see that right there? That's all the grease that was actually on there. I don't think the uh, Purple Power dissolved it. I think it loosened it up. So when the power, the power washer came by, it just scooted it out of the way. Uh, the engine oil did come off mostly, um, and the way you can tell is that the water isn't like beating thoroughly like crazy on here. Um, that's a really quick sign that um, that it did remove the the oil that was on here. And remember, no scrubbing. I did not scrub anything. Just spray it on and hose it off. Now over here on the super clean, whole other whole other thing. Like, and keep in mind, I smeared um, grease both of them exactly just as heavily, and there's no well, a little bit, but it dissolved it. It literally dissolved most of the grease that was on here. Um, I can still feel it. There's still a greasy surface. Let me check this one. Yeah, you can still feel it. So. Uh, they both have it, but it dissolved the top layer, which is insane. Um, again, the purple power just kind of moved it out of the way, where the super clean actually made it disappear to a point. Now, over here, you can see on the oil side that where we coated it with oil, um, same effect. It did a great job dissolving the oil and taking it off of here, um, so you don't see as much uh, beating. Uh, when you see a lot of beating on the water, that means the water and the oil are separating and it's kind of non-existent here. So that's really, really cool. Now, the oil pans are not, is nutty. Remember, the purple power one is on the left and the super clean one is on the right. The super clean one was the worst pan out of both of them. Um, now, what we, what we want to look at is the bottom of the pan not the stuff that's baked on that stuff requires agitation that stuff will not come off just by spraying it alone um so when we see the end result it is pretty impressive on what super clean did in comparison to purple power uh, purple power is again it's usually my go-to spray i don't think it's going to be anymore um it's gnarly and you'll see what i mean this corner had the exact same amount of stuff baked onto it over here and you'll see it's gone it's all almost all of it's gone and no scrubbing done just spray and pray pretty much uh, same example over here this left pan again is purple power and you'll see it left all the grime there and it didn't remove it did start breaking it up but over here it dissolved most of it I mean if I did another spray and it'd be done It'd be a super clean pen. Um, it'd be ready for me to pretty much install uh, after that. I mean, I get a little wire brush and or just a little nylon brush and scrub that off. But it did a really, really good job on like, cleaning all the very heavy caked on oil that was at the bottom. Again, Purple Power still did a really, really good job. I cannot complain, but it did not remove that gunk at all. On the corner which is the harder stuff to remove is the stuff that gets caught in corners that sludges up again back to this guy you can see it removed most of it i'm impressed this actually might be a really good product for me to start using um now let me see if the bottoms of the pan might be a good another good comparison maybe we can do a quick one yeah these guys look pretty similar on the bottom so let's do a quick soaking on this one and we'll do one last comparison just to confirm. Remember, right is uh, super clean, left is purple power. We're gonna do one more quick soak and see what happens. Now we're gonna soak each pan separately. 
So I'll first do this guy. So you guys can see that. Same over here. Now all we want to do is let this sit. We're not agitating any of the oil on here. We're just going to let it sit. That's it. And I'm not being modest on how much I'm spraying on here. I'm going all out, so. All right, we're gonna give this about 30 seconds and then we'll be right back. Two, three, four. All right, we're back. So we let it sit for 40 seconds. Now we're gonna power, power wash both. Now at this part, turn your volume down and then you guys will see the end result. Holy shnikes, again, in results, speak for themselves. Let's look on the left pan. This is Purple Power. Now, this does have a little bit more uh, beat, but there's beading wa water, meaning there's still residual oil. Uh, when water beads uh, anywhere on top of something that has oil, that means the oil isn't removed. That is insane. Purple Power didn't remove it without, uh, again, we didn't agitate anything. We just sprayed it on and call it a day. Um, another really good sign right here that Purple Power didn't do a great job. See right here, this is really dark all around the rim where the bolts go on. Uh, you can still see some of the oil and some of the grime still. Again, that's why we use a power washer so we can take off as much as we can without touching it at all. Now let's go look at this pen. You'll see here, Super Clean did a way better job right here. And just, again, just by spraying and then let's sit. The top of the pan, uh, you'll see there's no beating at all. The pan is just, it dissolved the oil. It literally dissolved it and removed it. Um, I'm impressed, per, uh, Super Clean. You guys, for the money, which is the same exact cost almost to Purple Power, you guys are almost, almost, I'm gonna say, it's a win. Super Clean is a win for me on how well they do a good job and just doing nothing. I, I really did no work in cleaning the pan and it's, there is a difference. I mean, for no effort cleaning, thank you Super Clean. You guys are awesome. You guys get a thumbs up in my book and I recommend it. I recommend the product pretty, Pretty much 100% for how nice of an end result uh, of cleaning with only 30 to 40 seconds set time. I can guarantee you with a little bit of elbow grease, uh, you cut my time in half in cleaning these pans up and getting stuff ready to reinstall in a car. Um, okay, all right. Thanks again for tuning in for this uh, product review at Pinch House Garage with Super Clean and Purple Power. We know the end result. We loving, love Super Clean. But if you can't get a hold of them, I mean, Purple Power is obviously a runner-up, so definitely look at them as well. You can get both products at AutoZone as well, guys. It is a product you can pick up at AutoZone on both of them. All right, thanks a lot, and have a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.